3 plus 4 plus 5 is 6. Oh, wait, that's if they're all cubed. Right, 3 cubed plus 4 cubed plus 5 cubed is 6 cubed, whether you believe it or not. And that's just the first of my top 10 most incredible equations you've probably never seen. I didn't discover any of these, and there are plenty that I'm leaving out. You can let me know your favorites in the comments. Number 9 is incredibly cute. 2 to the 5th times 9 squared. What do you suppose this is? Well, obviously it's 2,592. Just take the exponents, drop them down in place, and this equality holds true. I don't know how you would have figured that out, but isn't that great? Here's an integral for you. It's pretty wild what the result is, since it's 22 over 7 minus pi. Why is this incredible? Well, 22 over 7 is a great approximation for pi. So this is pretty funny that we have that great approximation and pi showing up as the answer. 3 to the 3rd plus 4 to the 4th plus 3 to the 3rd plus 5 to the 5th is of course 3, 4, 3, 5. How is that possible? Look at all the repetition of exponents and it lines up so nicely as just 3, 4, 3, 5. I made a dedicated video about this one already, but I just like it too much to not include it in this list. The sum of reciprocal squares is of course pi squared over 6. Leave it to Euler to do this back in the 1700s and become famous for doing it. If you want to see the proof of this, you can click right here. You know 3, 4, 5 right triangles? legs of 3 and 4 and a hypotenuse of 5 thanks to the Pythagorean theorem? That's pretty cool in itself. 3 squared plus 4 squared is 5 squared, but it goes beyond that. 10 squared plus 11 squared plus 12 squared is 13 squared plus 14 squared. And it goes farther than that. 21 squared plus 22 squared plus 23 squared plus 24 squared is the same as 25 squared plus 26 squared plus 27 squared, on and on forever according to a pattern. If these consecutive squares don't get you a little bit interested in number theory, I don't know what will. Next, another integral I did cover on my channel already, but it's just too good of a nugget to leave out of here, and that's the sophomore's dream integral. If you take this definite integral, this continuous sum of x to the minus x, it evaluates to the discrete sum of x to the minus x which is absolutely ridiculous. Do you know the golden ratio given by the Fibonacci sequence? It's 1 plus root 5 over 2. It shows up all over nature and has great properties in and of itself. But what I want to talk about, I'm going to dub this golden integral. And wouldn't you believe it, putting that golden ratio in those two places of this function and integrating gives us 1. Now considering the golden ratio is this wild number, it's pretty amazing that if you compute this definite integral, you're actually getting one. Now the process for doing this is maybe a little bit tedious. Let me know in the comments if you want to see an actual video showing how to compute this integral. Numberphile made a video for the number two spot on my list, but it's just too good and incredible to leave off. This Tupper's self-referential formula. It's an inequality, not an equation. Maybe it shouldn't be on my list, but if you graph this inequality at certain values, it graphs itself. Literally, the graph of this formula is the formula. I mean, just stare at it. It plots itself. Last but not least, the most incredible equation that you may have never seen is one from the great Ramanujan. Leave it to the great Ramanujan to calculate this infinite sum, which of course evaluates to 1 over pi. Yeah, I have absolutely no idea how he went about calculating that. But if you want to see one of these identities in action, you should click the video on the screen right here. I'll see you in that one.